Well, there are so many risks and a, a global survey of senior executives found that 91% felt that it was very important to actually know who they were doing business with. And the reason for that is that anonymous companies are being used by drugs money launderers, people and arms traffickers, terrorism, organized crime uh, for ways to conceal and move money. But they're also being used by um, criminals, tricksters, fraudsters um, who are scamming you know, small investors out of their money and all sorts of other small scale frauds as well. Well, it's on two levels. The, the, the best way to, to really tackle the anonymous ownership of companies is on two levels. One is that there needs to be a, a massive change in what is considered acceptable business practice. And currently, secrecy in business, the, uh, this misuse of anonymous companies, is a sort of accepted, accepted business practice. That needs to change, and I think we're starting to see that. And the other thing that needs to change, and is already um, underway, is that governments need to take responsibility for the companies that are set up in their domain. And so with the, um, e the fifth um, EU anti-money laundering directive uh, of December uh, last year, that's uh, going to now be a requirement for all countries across Europe to have uh, registers of the beneficial owners of companies that are publicly accessible. And there's, there's going to be a few issues about potential paywalls and costs, but it's a huge, huge step forward. And it now, it brings to 35 now countries across the world that are setting up public ownership um, databases. Now, the key thing though, is that for these to be effective, they have to be able to be cross-referenced. They need to be, there needs to be open data, they need to be searchable and, and cross-referenced so that people, whether it's uh, law enforcement or citizens trying to hold their governments to account, can do the research to track the companies across borders. Well, I think that this is already starting to change and it needs to change country by country. Um, it's, it's not about setting up some huge globalized structure. Governments need to take responsibility for the companies that are operating in their countries. And so I think we're, we're seeing a big development towards that with the fifth EU anti-money laundering directive. And in the UK, there's the um, world first uh, set up in 2016 of a register of persons of significant control, uh, which again, it's a work in progress um, and you know, there are things that need to be sorted out with it but it's a very good intent. So in terms of, of the international uh, dimension on this, the G20 has started to speak out about the problems caused by anonymous companies and the need to take action but it needs to do a lot more, it really needs to actually get active and, and, and develop that piece of work um, and we just need to see governments globally getting behind this legislative issue.